In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Death, and the word become flesh. And Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst whom blesses the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pull forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our heart, as we know the incarnation of Christ your Son by the mass of the angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of the resurrection. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This Mass will be offered for the intention of Martha Ware as she celebrates her birthday tomorrow. We pray for her parents and her brother and all those of her family. And so we pray for her too, for her intention. So let us pause for a while today and ask God forgiveness as we come to celebrate the 29th Sunday in ordinary time. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, 
and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servants shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right, of the kindness of the Lord of the earth is full. Lord, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Nadaf li mulay albin kumbi bishin shang dar ki pishra al-evangelium ad-destia li semtal misir zalibyanu tal spiritu santu amin. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one on your right and the other on your left. Jesus said to them, we do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism 
with which I am baptized? They answered him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit on my right, on my left, is not for my, for me, for mine to give, but is for those whom it was have been prepared. When the other ten heard this, they become indignant with James and John. Jesus summoned them, the twelve, and said to them, you know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them. And the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be among you. Rather, whoever wish to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wish to be the first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. It talim tal vangelo, it not fu mehti et tano. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom. In these last two Sundays, Jesus spoke about marriage and about giving everything to Jesus, even our property, our finance, whatever it is, our, our uh, intelligence, our strength, whatever it is to him. Today, Jesus has deepened more, as we say, the responsibility of those who want to serve him. Let's face it, each one of us, many times we study for one purpose, to achieve a goal. And many times after we study and achieve a goal, we want to be in competition with others and sometimes we want to be better than other people. That's part of the human nature. And that Emphasis, I call it, unfortunately, it's in the church also. And Jesus today tackled that weakness in the human beings with his method of speaking to his disciples the way he spoke. In the first reading today, we heard that Jesus, according to Isaiah, is, this, is the servant of God, is the one who do God's bidding is the one who really is the servant of suffering, is the one who undergoes suffering for one reason, that the Father has sent him in the world to be the victim by which sin will be redeemed. And that's why Jesus entered this world. He did not enter the world to make miracles. He did not enter the world to be masterpiece of things or be... Uh, some noble person, he entered this world to fulfill the will of the Father, that he will be the victim and the high priest on the altar of Calvary, for the salvation of each one of us. He was loaded with our sinfulness, he took on our sinfulness in order that he would make up for them by his suffering, death, and resurrection. That was the first reading today. And that prophecy is fulfilled in the second reading today when we speak about from the book of the, of the Hebrews. But I'd like to go in the Gospel first. Jesus is speaking about that we are going to Jerusalem, that they are going to crucify me, they are going to put me to death, I am going to rise. The apostles were discussing among themselves, after he leaves, who is going to be in charge? Who's going to be first? And James and John, because they were the first ones who really believed in Jesus and followed Jesus. Remember, he, they are the first one that Jesus selected, the sons of Zebedee. They thought that by their rights, they will be the ones. And so, in order to cut to the chase, they come to Jesus and said, Lord, 
when you are in your glory, make it happen that we sit on your right and the left. And Jesus looked at them, you know, and, how, and he thought how shallow their mind is. They are thinking like the word thinks. Little they know that the, God, the mind of God, the Creator, is bigger than the thinking of the world. And in order not to scold them, because he knows that they are human beings and that's part of, of their nature, he said to them, are you willing to drink the chalice I am about to drink? To be baptized with the same baptism I am going to be baptized? And of course, them, knowing nothing of what he is talking about, they say, we will. And Jesus said, unfortunately, you hit the target. Because you are going to be drinking the, cu the cup, and you are going to be baptized, because he knows that their future is going to reach to that, to that point. They are going to drink the chalice of the suffering and the persecution that they are going to go through. And also they are going to be baptized like he is going to baptize on Calvary. They are going to shed their blood for him. They are going to shed their blood to testify that they really not only believe in word, but with what action they are going to speak louder with their actions than their words. But then he said to them, but to tell you to sit on the right and left is not for me to give. That's not me, but is reserved by the Father, to whom the Father wishes. And then he said to them something that is contradictory to what the word thinking. He really was, he was really saying to them, you have missed the ball. When he said to them, if you want to be great or be thirst, you need to be the slave of each one of us. And Jesus did not speak about slave like a word that wrote there because he showed them you know, the slaves that they, that they have hired to serve them, because he did the work of a slave at the Last Supper, when he washed their feet. And in fact, he told them, what I have done to you, do it to one another. And then he said to them, and if you want to really be the, the first, you need to be the last among all of you. Now, in the world that we are, we think in order to be the first, you need to be a man of tough character. You are going to demand that people obey you. You are going to see that people are going to come to your conclusions. And if they don't, you are going to wipe them or you are going to put them aside. That's the kind of theory the world explained to us authority is. But Jesus is saying to them, if you want to be an authority, you need to be the servants of each other. And that's why the church in her wisdom, when he speak about the Holy Father, one of the titles that really is fitting to the Holy Father, he is the servant of the servants. Because he is there to serve. Not because I am the Pope, I am going to chastise you, and then I am going to cut your head off, and so forth. That's why when we speak about, you know, when the Holy Father begins to show mercy, and speak about, you know, uh, synod that he is going to do, and so forth, is because he wants to teach each one of us that the philosophy of Jesus is the goal of each one of us. You know, to wear the, to wear the mitre and carry the crozier does not make you a, um, a shepherd, does not make you a bishop. A bishop is when you meet with people on one-to-one, -one, you listen to them. You listen to them. This is what the Senate is all about. Listening to each other. Listening to each other. Not how much I know how to say, well, I am, not, I am going to meet the bishop, and I am going to meet that one, and I am going to tell him. That is not the way Jesus wanted. What Jesus wants you is to sit there in the presence of the other one without no interruption of media and you listen to each other to see what the other is saying to you. That is what Jesus wants from the church. And that is what the Vatican Council in Lumen Gentium in paragraph 37 speak to us that the bishops and priests have to listen 
to the laity. Because the laity have urges, have needs. That's why parish councils were formed, not because they want to have another meeting, like I, I, I need another meeting, like I need a hole in my head. But you sit there to listen to what the people are saying, to what the people are thinking, to what the people is in need of. This is why the council asked the bishops and priests to give time to the people to think, to see what they are trying to say. And then Jesus again teaches us a great lesson by saying to them, if you want to be the first, you go back to the to the back of, or to the back of the room to be the le to the, 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 the least ones. Remember the, remember that parable of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, of the man who prepared a dinner for his son and went and invite people from all the streets and so forth because his guests all have excuses and there was one man who was not dressed properly and also he went and sat in front and the host <coughs> said to him my dear this place was reserved for somebody Please, can you move back because the people who are, who are is in the place you are sitting is theirs. And how humili humiliated you will be to be pushed down from that honor, from that place of honor. He said, that's the way it is. This is what Jesus is trying to teach the disciples and teach me and teach everyone. To be humble. To be people who are ready to serve. Many of you say, how can I do that? Simple. What is good for you is good for others. If you are in need, you want people around you, do not? Because you cannot do it all, because you are limited to what you can do. And so others come and fill the blanks. The same thing we need to do to other people. We need to be there for people, to help them in their, in their, in their um, misery that sometimes they go through, in their hardship that they go through. This is what Jesus is saying to us. We need to be slaves. Slave is not somebody with the whip and get, make, us, make us do what, what, what they want us to do because they are going to whip us. Slave means you offer yourself and your service for others because in that person you see the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we all are created in His image. And when we do that, we are fulfilling the words of Jesus. I was hungry, I was thirsty, I was ill, I was in prison. Remember the church is moving to the parousia. In about four weeks from now, we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King, which is the Gospel, which is the Gospel of the, of the, of the uh, 25th chapter of Matthew is the evaluation of each one of us. The church is moving us towards that goal to teach us, you know, that at the end of the journey, we are not going to be there, you know, dressed with the tie and with the suit and ready to go in. We don't need suit, we don't need ties. The way we came naked, the, the, the way naked we are going to go to God. There is no need of, of, of material things there. The only thing we take with us is what we have accomplished with what God has given us to accomplish. And then we go in the second reading today and see how Jesus himself offered himself as a supplication to the God the Father. He offered to God the Father. Why? Through suffering. If you think that to be a Catholic means you go to Mass and that's it, you are really out of the uh, out of the go out of the uh, of the uh, of the philosophy of Jesus. If anyone wants to follow me, take up the cross. And you know the cross of life is not easy many times. Under the heavy sickness, under sometimes, you know, uh, miscommunication or people misunderstand us. Under sometimes, you know, situation that we find ourselves in. And those things are not going to be pleasant sometimes. And unless we go through those suffering, we cannot come to the glory. That's what we say in the opening prayer. We need to understand that through suffering we come to glory. Like Jesus, he did not come to the resurrection unless he went to Calvary. 
And anyone who is follower of Jesus have to go the same avenue that Jesus went about. So what is the message that we take with us with all this? First of all, the first reading speak about Jesus, the servant of God. The second reading speak about the suffering of Jesus, which fulfilled the first reading. And then Jesus give us the practical, how we are going to live this life. Number one, by being slave to each other, by serving each other. How many people today do not care about nobody? They care about them, me, 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 me. That's all it cares. The world is not composed of you. The world is composed of all the creation that God can create. And God puts you in that spot, in that position, whether you are a parent, whether you are a single person, whether you are a priest or whoever you are, He put you in that spot purposely to challenge your charity, to challenge your message that you are going to bring, not by, by the mouth, but by your actions. And then that action is going to be rewarded. Remember Jesus said in one gospel about three weeks ago, if you give just one glass of water to a prophet of mine, you will not go without reward. Now, glass of water is very simple. Jesus is saying to us that every little things we do for others is not going to be forgotten. Because he knows the hidden. He knows the intention behind what we are doing and what, how we are given. And the one who knows what is hidden will repay. Let us pause today and ask God, especially through his son Jesus Christ, to teach us to really understand his words. I came not to be served, but to serve. Now this is God speaking to us. And because of that non-servium, the bad angels left heaven, have to leave heaven. Because God needs to be served. But Jesus said, I come not to be served to serve and to give my life as a ransom for the world. God bless you. And together we profess our holy faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God, begotten of a consubstantial with the Father, from whom all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, He ascended to heaven and is seated at the hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. The life, the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Assure that we can approach the throne of grace for timely help. We, uh, we bring upon the Lord to hear our prayers and to respond with grace for all our needs. For the church throughout the world may find comfort in knowing that Jesus has been tested in every way and now accomplish all that he has done by his trial and hardship Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders around the world that they may embrace their mission to serve others, especially those who have been neglected in society, especially to respect life and give them hope. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. To an end of war and terrorism, that conflict and division and difference and indifference may be resolved with peaceful means. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those whom every day is a burden due to illness, abuse, poverty, and trauma, that they may be served by those who make a difference in their lives, showing mercy. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all of us, that we may hear to be called servants to others, 
with the capacity to do the best we can, even sometimes to do with sacrifice for others what, need, what needed to be done. Let us pray the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. I still remember a story of a very millionaire man from Italy. His name was Marcellus. And this man moved, went and sold everything he has. He sold his factory and he went to Brazil to work with the people who have leprosy. At one time, one of these journalists was going by and he said to him, how come you are kneeling in front of a leper? He said, because that's the way I can uh, tend to his need, to his, to his wounds. And then he said to him, and also I kneel because in this person in front of me, I see the Lord Jesus. How nice, huh? And that is the, the lesson that we need to take with us today. Let us pray today that God, our Father, with merciful love for us, who sent his Son, not to be served, but to serve, inspire each one of us to serve others so that we can be like Christ to our neighbors and to see him in our neighbor. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we acceptable by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Amen. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purification action of your grace, we may be cleansed by every mystery to serve you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. We lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you laid the foundation of the world, and you arranged the change of times and seasons. You form man in your own image, and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so, with angels and archangels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh, we holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Father, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. He gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more he gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember the members of the world family for whom this Mass is being offered, and all those who pray for, especially our loved ones. In Nannal Capella Lia Paulica Tia Maria Tia Popol Manueli. Censa Cassatari Gianni Signor Alicia, Giovanni Joe, Victor Rosario, Don Salve, Don Giuseppe, Don Nardo Michele, Don Nazaren, Don Eric, Patri Martin, Patri Kerr, Giorgia Michele, Mary, Jane Marie, Eva, Regina, Andy, Janet, Mary, Carol, and Jack, and all those who died recently. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs especially, St. George Preca, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your <coughs> Son, Jesus Christ. Today is the Feast of St. Matthias, too. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day, day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, and by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, and according to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and, and with your spirit. spirit. Experience that peace with one another. Peace and peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Jesu Cristo ben alla l'hai per mautia che pretende con l'isma. Ben hidma dal Spirito Santo in tata l'hai al dini. Dal gisa un vedem a distia che halisni mehtia di colla mi col hazu. Zom idem fidi l'er comandamente ti e cut halina aat nim feret minne. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who are called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et sanguinem Domine Jesu Christi, custodia vita materna. Amen. Sanguinem Domini Jesu Christi, custodia vita materna. Communion antiphon. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. In time of famine. the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 O meidän atsalle fia Kristus tiet halike, et sylittit kiirat al passioni tia uur rohtin tradil haedei. Pat tila mil hoks missema u dan andu kur lau, liturgia del santissimo sacramenta laate, ale tinnati kiirat al passioni uur mautia, eis mis santan al deiem ta deiem amme. Grazie signor Anna, o vaxpelli signor Anna. Mulenem men fi kollok verita, mulenit ma fi kollok hien, mulen hobo fu kollok kollok in hobo, minde ma shreesh ta kofen deite kollok tibo hien, ad desruhe vis sagramentia kollok tusi. Today is the feast also of St. Um, Hedwig and St. Margaret Maria Lacocco. You know who she is? Yes. You're one of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, huh? She is the one who gave us the Twelve Promises. And we pray that she will always instill in us that great love for the heart of our Savior. Let, let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefit from the participation in the heavenly things. We may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gift that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Tomorrow is a very beautiful feast. I don't know if you have ever heard about him. Saint Ignatius of Antioch. Antioch. He was, uh, he was 94 years old. When they put him on a cart to take him to Rome to throw him with the lions so that he will be destroyed. And the young people and also the people because they love him they say, just tell them that you are going to worship their idols. But we know that you don't mean it. And he said, for 96 years, I was always faithful to the Lord. Do you think I am going to do something stupid like that in front of you, for example? He said, let me go so that I will be weed in the, in the mouth of the lions 
to the fresh bread from my Lord. Can you believe that? What beautiful saints. These are saints, you know. These are saints that really uh, teach us how to become saints. And now we turn to our Saint Michael and we say to him, Saint Michael, be our angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. What happened? How did you turn it on? You have to aim it at those with the white light on the base. Hail, Holy Queen, and throne above, O Maria, Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumph for ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. Salve, Regina. Salve, Regina.